Hey Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs is Intuition Angel 444. Getting ready to do your guys' reading for the New Year's. Um, Happy New Year's, everyone. I hope everyone is having a good time and the vibes are staying high with you. Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram now at rosalovetarot underscore. Where pretty soon I'll start going live over there, okay? Um, but I'm not going to get too deep into that, into this video. Aquarius, what do we have for Aquarius? What is the energy right now for the Aquarius? I thank you guys so much for the support that you're giving me uh, so far, Aquarius and Cross Watcher. Let's get four cards. Okay. We have finances and career so far. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. We have love yourself first at the bottom, Aquarius. Someone isn't doing too well right now. And um, you are. I'm also getting that if any of you are in a some sort of financial rut, it's like it's not affecting with your self-love. It's like you're still you're still motivated to love yourself. You're still very comfortable. But this person, Aquarius, someone is trying to call you in new love here. Uh, Pisces got new love too. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, getting to know each other. So... Aquarius, I'm getting that for some of you. I'm channeling into energy of someone who needs, who's going to end up with someone that is very stable here. Not that the stability is, is the major factor, but it is a factor right now. The stability, the finances, your career is a major factor in your, in your love life right now. I feel like you met someone and you're trying to call them in. You have a lot of passion for them. Maybe you haven't exactly met them, met them, but you, yeah, thoughts here. It's like you think about them. We have marriage here also. It also popped out. Message. So it's like maybe you guys are texting or something like that. Oh, hold on one second. I'm dropping cards. So it's like you guys could be, yeah, lovers dropped on the floor too. It's like you're thinking really hard about someone here. It's like you're thinking about the stability, thinking about the passion. Could be just... It could be just sexually attraction, but it's like maybe you see yourself or someone sees you as someone that, you know, they could take care of. Why is passion here for Aquarius? All right, so we have poverty. So it's like one of those damsel in distress you know, vibes that I'm getting here for Aquarius. Not saying that you're the damsel in distress, but someone could be seeing you as this way. Why is soulmate here? So this person feels like you're their soulmate, or they feel like you guys would be like the perfect match and they're trying to call you back in. I feel like someone is... Okay, so if you guys are at a distance from each other, I feel like the... The finances are definitely in the way. Is that is that why the finances in career? Because I feel like someone is in poverty here. And they're trying to get towards someone, but it's like they're they can't because of the finances. Yeah, okay, community. Someone sees you in the community, they see you maybe getting a lot of attention in the community, they're trying to call you back in. Okay. It makes sense now. No thief car came out, so I don't think the finances and career is something that you got to worry about. We have journey and expectation. So I feel like someone is just like sort of waiting. High honor. I feel like some someone is sort of waiting to maybe get something here um, when it comes to finances so that they can make a trip to somebody. And someone is expecting them to come in. That's interesting. It's like someone is calling someone in and someone else is, you know, expecting them to call them in. It's like they're expecting for someone to come. And it could be a new love here. You guys could definitely be at a distance. It could be a long distance relationship is what I'm hearing. Alright, for Aquarius. And it's like... Maybe you guys can't see each other because of the financial 
situation that one or maybe both of you are in. Okay, let's see what's going on with Aquarius for the New Year's, beginning of the New Year's, what's going on with Aquarius for the beginning of the New Year, Aquarius, alright, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the advice is the Nine of Wands. Okay. So, I feel like there's a feminine energy here who is very single, happy, and abundant. The struggle is the Page of Swords. Someone is... Someone... Okay. Someone is trying to get more information on this person that could be maybe stable. They're trying to figure out how to come in and bring you an offer. They really want to work with you. They see you as someone that has it all they're coming off as the queen of pentacles here so i feel like you're very stable and committed you could be a mother clarify the queen of pentacles for aquarius page of wands so when they near your past this person met you and they sent you a message they seen you as someone that um, was really down to earth that's why they messaged you here why is the ace of wands and the crowning energy for aquarius like this you, you made them want to message you you made them want to have a new start okay so you have the devil here with the four of pentacles so this person is very passionate about you here very passionate about you i don't even think they met you yet i really don't um but they're very passionate about you they could be coming off as younger than you, but they really want to work together with you. All right, why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Aquarius? Nine of Pentacles. Seven of, seven of Wands here. And the Eight of Swords. I feel like whoever is getting spied on, whoever this person is, it's very um, stable, happy, and abundant. They're being, being very defensive. It's like they want to be single here. I feel like they they ward off toxic energy a lot. Nine of Wands here. They block toxic energy a lot. And maybe they might not see this other person coming. Or they just... Maybe they don't trust the other person. Page of Swords, please, for Aquarius. Yeah, Nine of Cups. It's like they're watching you be happy, though. It's like they're watching the other person be happy. It's like they're spying on you being happy and celebrating... Um, they want to balance something out. They want to reconcile with you because they see you as their as their choice in love. They could be at a distance from you. Maybe they made a choice in the past. Um, or you made a choice in the past to rush in, but they see you as a soulmate here. Maybe they made a choice in the past. Um, here's the thing. They're really passionate about you, but maybe... They have to be cautious with you because of their choices and lovers in the past. You're very defensive and you're very independent here. That's why they're passionate about you. Alright, let's clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. Knight of Cups for Aquarius. Yeah, Queen of Swords. You're not... Yeah, Queen of Wands. You're not taking this person's offer. Or someone isn't taking this person's offer here. It's like they're really tough... To maybe get along with. That's the buy that you're getting off. Um, but you're like the boss type. You're the type of person that someone does want to work with here. So that's why they're not going anywhere. Or that's why they're so persistent. Three of Pentacles please for Aquarius. Alright, we have the Hermit here. And the Four of Swords. So in the near future we have the Hermit and the Four of Swords with the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this person, I feel like this person has to go deep within when it comes to working. They have to figure out a way to come in and work with you. I feel like, I feel like here's the thing, like you're very mature, you've been through a lot, you've, um, you've got your own business opened up, you're trying to, you're really busy is what I'm getting and you'd rather be independent. So this person has to go deep within to try to figure out a way um, to maybe 
work with you, but it's like they feel separated from you. They feel like they feel like an outcast to you. They feel like you don't want to work with them. They feel like you're not talking to them. Why is the Nine of Wands here as the advice? Nine of Wands for the advice for Aquarius. Seven of Swords. The advice is to watch your back. Seven of Cups. Because this person could be having or trying to put you in some sort of illusion here. Yeah, this person is maybe very sexually attracted to you too. But you give off a vibe that like they can't. It's like they can't touch it. They feel very far away from you. Emotionally, energetically, physically. But it's like they're addicted to you. They're obsessed with you. So let's go on Aquarius. That's the message for Aquarius. Alright. So we have, I honor how I want to feel. We have, my energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. This is all you. Joy is the ultimate creator. Yeah, I feel like if the more the more joyous you act, this is what's creating your independent attitude. And they're just going to continue to be obsessed with you as you honor what you want in your life and that you get what you want in your life. This person here maybe has the potential to be maybe sneaky here. I feel like you act this way because you don't trust a lot of people, but this person does have the potential to be sneaky because I feel like they're only after you for maybe in the sexual aspect or maybe they're just addicted to you. They're just really passionate about you. This is a new love here for sure. Um, Alright Aquarius, that was your reading. I hope I gave you some clarity. If I did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you next week. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.